Kick Guru is with Bywin at Computex 2025. Bywin makes all sorts of memory and flash storage products. Let's take a tour, shall we? We have a couple of things to look at here. We have the PC, which is running an MSI MPG X870 e carbon Wi Fi motherboard, Ryzen 9 9950X 3D processor. However, it's all about the memory. The funny thing is, this display on the curved pump cover is the OC Lab at Bywin, and it matches the carbon Wi Fi illumination on the IO shield absolutely perfectly. But this is what it's all about, is the Bywin OC Lab. What we have here is UDIM memory running at DDR5 6400. The modules are 48 gigabytes, and we have four of them. That means we have a total of 192 gigabytes of memory running on an AMD desktop PC at a decent speed and with a latency of C28. I don't think a month or two ago that would have even been possible. This is down to work by Bywin and the AMD Agisa team. AMD MSI X870E Godlike, again a Ryzen 9 9950X 3D. The memory here, again from the Bywin OC lab, 256 gigabytes, 4 by 64 gigabytes. It's running at 6400 mega transfers, latency very slightly slower at C32. That is a huge amount of memory. If we just flip up to the board, we can have those details confirmed. The significant thing with this PC is it's running two modules of memory, but it's running two by 64 gigabytes at 8400. And it's an AMD system. It's Ryzen 5 9600X on an MSI B850M, but it's running at 8400 mega transfers at C42. We just move up to the screen above. We can see that enormous speed and on a very large memory capacity. 2 by 64 gigabytes at high speed. We have here a Larry PC build that was built for CES of this year and it's made the move over to Computex in one piece, which is mildly miraculous. You can see the OC Lab logo on the memory modules, nice and clear in this configuration. And we move up to these screens. The thing that's significant here, these are UDIMs. They are not CU DIMs and yet the memory is running at 8800 mega transfers, which is wickedly fast. 2 by 24 gigabytes, 8800 UDIMs. Never seen that before. More general consumer products. These are external SSDs, got up to eight terabytes in capacity. Also down there is a mobile phone, which has one of these magnetic storage devices on it, such as this. They got to one terabyte because the devices are single-sided and we don't want them to be overheated by the phone because that would be bad. And we have some CF Express cards for cameras. We understand that one or two rather famous brands are OEM'd by Bywin, but of course that's not being said on the record. Relatively generic products for the mass market, PCI Express Gen 4 and Gen 3 SSDs and memory such as this 16 gigabytes UDIM 4800 mega transfers in other words very mass market also sodiums for laptops again 16 gigabytes 4800 mega transfers memory that's of more interest to the enthusiast so we have Bywin DW100 DDR5 available in white and black heat spreaders RGB or non RGB if you must the capacity goes up to 64 gigabytes in a dual channel kit, so two or 32 gigabytes. Latency varies depending on the capacity of the kit. Up anything from CL26 up to CL40. Mainstream DDR5 memory that looks rather pretty. Moving along, we have HX100 DDR5 UDIMs. These again up to 64 gigabytes, two or 32 gigabytes latency between CL28 and CL36. This SSD is different to these SSDs because it has a heatsink. That is why it's an H. That's why it's an X570H. H for heatsink. But of course enthusiast motherboards typically have heatsinks on the SSDs. And what we have here 
are four different SSDs, albeit they look amazingly similar to each other. NV3500, PCI Express Gen 3, up to two terabytes. We go to the left. NV7400 Gen 4, up to four terabytes. We come to the front. X570, PCI Express Gen 5, up to four terabytes. That's a single-sided module. We have some details about the X570. It uses a Maxiotech 1806 controller, and at the moment that appears to be an exclusive to Bywin, although doubtless we'll see that controller in other SSDs in the near future. And it uses Micron TLC memory. Because this is the X570 rather than the Pro, it doesn't have any DRAM cache. The X570 Pro is the top of the heap, up to four terabytes, again, single-sided, even higher speeds than the regular X570. This uses an SMIC 2508 controller. It has DRAM cache and again uses Micron TLC flash storage. We recently reviewed this drive and it did very well. More evidence of the good work of the OC Lab in their gold edition memory. We have two systems running along here, at very high speeds, both using CU DIMMs. As we can see on this external display here, frustratingly rotated 90 degrees and we look there and we see just above my finger 10,400 mega transfers which is as fast as any CU dims that I've seen running on a system that is impressive that's the kind of speed we saw in the overclock systems at G-Skill I'm signing off next to this system, similarly running very fast CU dims this is Kit Guru with Bywin at Computex 2025 do please check us out on TikTok and we're at kickguru.net on the web.